Okay. Uh, on the 805 machine, we couldn't move the spindle because we were getting the alarm uh, 250, which is a spindle, a spindle star uh, misoperation. This is also related to the lubrication uh, system or the uh, headstock lubrication system where we install a um, flow meter instead of a pressure switch. Uh, so to disable that alarm because uh, we changed the the condition on the on the parameter we need to change another parameter let me show you where I'm talking what I'm talking about so let's look for the alarm 250 which is the coil F50 Remember, you have to subtract uh, 200 to the alarm number. So let's say alarm 250 minus 200, the coil is uh, F50. So this is the alarm. So the condition we had, it was this one. Uh, so going back, now uh, let's look for the M04, uh, M400, four. So this was the alarm and we were missing this condition, M800, M843, let's look for the coil. M843 so we couldn't have that, ala uh, that signal because uh, we changed the parameter uh, 66.3 so now this signal is always one so what we had to do is to modify the M48 and the M48 signal as you see in the parameter is coming from the R bit zero which is the PLC device or the coil on or the signal on the PLC or, or the mark on the PLC is the M48. So what we did is to set that that parameter from parameter, machine parameter, you, uh, ladder parameter, uh, we change this bit uh, to one. Okay. Uh, so every time you modify a PLC parameter, you need to power cycle the machine. So now it's running. Uh, we can test, uh, we need to still work with the redundancies, the shock redundancies command. So, in the future, we will be able to jog the spindle from the rear shock, or if we switch from the front shock.